Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh block. Indications for this block Anesthesia for surgery on the lateral aspect of the thigh, for example skin graft harvesting or muscle biopsy of the proximal lateral thigh. Analgesia for myalgia parasthetica and post-operative analgesia for hip surgery. Anatomy of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Origin. It is formed in the body of the psoas muscle from the posterior rami of L2 to L3. It is a pure sensory nerve. Course. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh emerges from the lateral border of the psoas. It passes obliquely across the anterior surface of the iliacus beneath the fascia iliaca towards the ASIS. It is crossed superficially by the deep circumflex iliac artery. Approximately 3 cm above the inguinal ligament, the LCNTH slopes forward to lie within the fascia iliaca. It then passes either behind or through the inguinal ligament at a variable distance, approximately 1 cm medial to the ASIS or inferior to the ASIS. It enters the thigh within a fibrous compartment and passes over or through the sartorius, lying deep to the fascia lata where it divides into anterior and posterior branches. Anterior and posterior divisions of the nerve eventually pierces the fascia lata to give terminal cutaneous branches. The anterior branch typically contains all L3 fibers of the nerve. This branch pierces the fascia lata more distal than the posterior branch, about 8 cm distal to the inguinal crease. The posterior branch typically contains all L2 fibers, it continues down the posterior lateral aspect of the thigh along the iliotibial tract. Structures supplied by the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh includes the parietal peritoneum of the iliac fossa, anterior branches supplies the skin on the anterior thigh, and they contribute to the patella plexus by connecting more distally with the infrapatellar branch of the saphenous nerve and anterior cutaneous femoral nerves. Posterior branches supplies the skin over the lateral aspect of the thigh from the greater trochanter to the mid-thigh. This diagram shows the expected distribution of a lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh sensory block. Variant anatomy. This nerve may arise from L1 and L2 and may arise from L2 alone. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh may be derived from the femoral nerve in approximately 10% of studied cadavers. Complication of LCNTH block. Femoral nerve block is common. The chances of femoral nerve block increases as the volume of local anesthesia increases. If this occurs, patients should be mobilized with assistance, especially if done as a day case. Bleeding and bruising may also occur. Landmark technique. LCNTH blockade is commonly performed by subcutaneous infiltration above and below the fascia lata in the anterior thigh. Important landmark is the ASIS. Patient is positioned supine with lower limbs in neutral position. Mark the needle insertion point which is a point 0.2 cm medial and 2 cm inferior to the ASIS. General measures include preparation for monitoring, equipment, emergency drugs and IV access. Employ standard aseptic measures and anesthetize the skin with 1% lidocaine. Needle of choice is a 2.5 cm short beveled needle. Short beveled needles help in the detection of facial pops or clicks when passing through facial planes. Needle insertion. Insert the nerve block needle perpendicular to the skin at the marked needle insertion point. A pop or loss of resistance should be felt as the needle passes through the fascia lata. Nerve stimulation can improve the success rate. However, the use of peripheral nerve stimulation is not commonly employed as eliciting paresthesia is difficult. LA injection. Stabilize the needle and inject up to 10 mL of LA in a fan-wise fashion below and above the fascia lata while aspirating regularly to exclude intravascular injection. Do not exceed the maximum safe LA dose especially if other concurrent nerve blocks are performed. Ultrasound technique. The variable anatomy of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh makes it challenging to achieve a successful block using the landmark technique. Ultrasound guidance allows more accurate local anesthesia deposition into the appropriate facial plane, 
where the LCNTH resides. Ultrasound settings. High frequency linear broadband probe should be used. Use the highest frequency probe possible as the LCNTH is a small nerve that is difficult to locate or visualize due to its significant anatomical variability. Set the depth at 1 to 3 cm. Orientation of the probe is transverse. Needle length of choice is 25 to 50 mm. The patient should be positioned supine with lower limbs in neutral position. The ultrasound probe is placed transversely on the anterior thigh, 2 cm inferior and medial to the ASIS, and then adjusted accordingly. Identify the sartorius muscle. Scan distally to identify its origin at the ASIS and its body. Identify the fascia lata, which covers the sartorius. The tensor fascia lata muscle is lateral to the sartorius. The rectus femoris is posterior to the sartorius. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh is seen as a small hyperechoic structure or structures often composed of bubbles which indicate individual fascicles and branches. Up to 3 to 4 branches may be seen. It is seen passing from medial to lateral over the surface of the sartorius muscle. Beneath the fascia lata, 1 to 2 cm medial and inferior to the ASIS and 0.5 to 1 cm deep to the skin surface. If this nerve is not seen lying between the sartorius and the fascia lata, it may instead course through the sartorius. Scan more distally and identify the fat-filled triangle between the sartorius and tensor fascia lata. This nerve may be seen within this triangle or identified when scanning more proximally. Scan distally over the sartorius from its origin to locate this nerve. Follow the nerve cephalad to where it disappears under the inguinal ligament. The LCNTH makes a sharp angle as it goes into the abdomen. Angle the probe acutely to visualize the nerve at this level. Within the abdomen, the LCNTH can be visualized in thin individuals and children. It sweeps around the pelvis beneath the fascia iliaca on the iliacus. Using color flow doppler, the circumflex iliac vessels can be seen crossing the LCNTH. The femoral nerve may be seen lying medial to the LCNTH at this level. LCNTH block is best achieved as close to the inguinal ligament as possible. Technique General measures, preparation of monitoring, emergency drugs and IV access, prepare equipment, employ standard aseptic measures and anesthetize the skin with 1% lidocaine. An in-plane approach is recommended. The needle is inserted in-plane in a lateral to medial orientation, a facile pop may be felt as the needle tip enters the plane between the sartorius and tensor fascia lata muscles. Nerve stimulation The identity of the LCNTH can be further confirmed by eliciting a tingling sensation on the lateral side of the thigh using peripheral nerve stimulation, LA injection. After negative aspiration for blood, inject 5 mL of LA around this nerve between the fascia lata and the sartorius. If the nerve is not seen, inject up to 10 mL of LA in the triangle between the sartorius and tensor fascia lata muscles, typically 1 to 2 cm medial and inferior to the ASIS. These are my references. Thank you.